any pre-sale activity any pre-sale activity is called marketing so what is in marketing any type of activity that you do it can be any type of campaigns it can be paper printing it can be any type of campaign activities like sample distribution you open a demo tent you get an ad in the paper you get an ad in the TV you start calling people you send SMS whatever you do all these comes to a place called as marketing so marketing has two components right down number one campaign number two leads now let's see what is a campaign activity is performed for a target marketing effort is called campaign right so in Salesforce we create campaign by clicking on the campaign tab you click on new campaign and you start entering the name and details of the campaign so I give the campaign name as in a real time when you go in an organization you'd be able to see a campaign starting with FY 16 financial year or fiscal year 16 right underscore quarter 2 Q3 quarter 3 or quarter 2 whichever quarter you are in underscore you might see the parent campaign cloud hello you did cloud underscore you might see SFDC underscore you might see the type most of the time you can see banner B A N N E R banner this is how the campaign names are visible in real time it is an universal practice or also called as best practices you don't you don't just blindly give the name of a campaign just like that you just don't give a blind name to it so now I click on the campaign is active what type of campaign it is I'll say it's an advertisement or it's a banner ad so I click on it's a banner ad right then I'll ask you when is the start date I'll say today when is the end date I'll say this month 31st what is the expected revenue that I'm expecting from this campaign so I see that I charge you know uh, I'm, I'm expecting about 2 lakh revenue out of this campaign what is the budget cost we have been given only 20,000 as the cost what is the actual cost I have not how much you know percentage of you know response I'm expecting 80 percent response I'm expecting number sent any email sends any the parent campaign what is the parent campaign yes this is a part of a global campaign that we're running called as FY16 Q3 cloud that's a parent campaign because it is Q3 cloud Salesforce so that's the part of this campaign so now I go ahead and I type some description I click on save and new and this is the way we create a campaign a campaign has been created now, right so this is a campaign you can see view parent you can see the hierarchy you go to the parent you see that under this is the parent right you can see that on the top you have FY 13 Q3 below that you have the campaign that I created called as FY 16 Q3 cloud SFDC banner that is what I created just now this again has a parent you can see that so the parent is nothing but you can see this it is a part of FY 16 cloud campaign you have FY 16 Q1 Q2 Q3 Q4 and our campaign is the part of Q3 I open Q3 I scroll down and I see that there's a child campaign I click on the child campaign this is what I did right we have created a campaign now in that campaign you can add some members which we'll be seeing later for them for the moment don't go there right uh, you can add some you can you can see how much how many responded you know uh, what are the different types of members we don't have a member so we will we will go back and we'll see that later right so we need to add members who are the part of this campaign who are the people who should be included in this campaign if it's a phone call campaign then who are the people I need to call what are their numbers all these details you'll include in something called as here right so you have open activities activity histories you can attach the banner photograph you know the true copies right you can add people that these are the people on whom we need to you know focus so all these details are placed where in a place called as campaign remember that this is not your work as I told you for this week we will be in a right end user work we are discussing all these end user work right so now 
after the campaign is created you know and executed there's a banner pasted uh, posted everywhere and by looking at these banners and posters what will happen now the students will start calling where they will start calling the institute hi uh, my name is Ravi I saw on banner regarding Salesforce I'm interested can you please provide me some details regarding the course syllabus the fee when the batch is starting the trainer is real time or not so he calls whenever a customer calls immediately the Institute or let's take the hospital or whatever it is the end user is going to create now don't think that they will be creating accounts or contacts if an individual customer is calling it's not that immediately you know they will create new contact no accounts and contacts are your customer remember that pure customer whereas by looking at a banner your another institute which is exactly opposite to your building can also call you hi this is Venkat uh, I'd like to know about the trainer I'd like to know your fees any inquiry that comes to a business is called as lead a collection of suspect and prospect so by this you can understand that any calls that come in we call them as lead later while talking to the person sending email I will see whether he's a genuine or not if I feel genuine then only I will convert them as a customer that means I'll be converting them as an account or a contact or both at any given time in the lead if I feel that the person who called me is not genuine is a fake candidate just for time sake he's calling or just for knowing the information he's calling I will not promote that particular inquiry to contacts or accounts clear now what I'm saying yes so any customer who walks into your institute or any patient who walks into the hospital right so hospital case is different because they are the genuine customer they came but in case of Institute everybody who is walking in we will will not join your course or will not pay the fee so there is a collection of suspect and prospect the people who are doubtful called suspect people who are interested genuinely interested are called as prospect so what I do is that after I do some campaigns automatically there will be a lot of activities or there will be a lot of you know impression in the market about my product and by looking at those impressions people will start calling me and every time I receive a call or walk in what I'll do I'll create a lead I click on new and I collect the information yes sir can I have your name my name is he will say that you know uh, what is your name my name is Ranveer Kapoor N-A-N-B-E-R Ranveer and last name is K-A-P-O-R Kapoor right okay are you working somewhere yes I'm a Bollywood actor actor okay so B-O-L-L-Y W-O-D Bollywood private limited private PVT LTD LTD right okay and what is uh, okay your role is lead actor lead A-C-T-O-R how did you uh, actually sir how did you got our number oh I saw your you know uh, on a particular campaign or I saw a banner somewhere and okay so banner I can immediately link with the campaign so so he saw it saw a banner about it okay so what type of industry it is so I'll say it's an entertainment industry okay uh, if you know the company revenue fine may I know your mobile number sir so Ranveer gives the mobile number may I have your you know fax number so you collect what is your email address sir uh, so that I can send you the course detail fee details as well as the course syllabus sheet so it will say r at the rate r dot com is my email address okay so uh, right what is the rating hot warm cold while talking I'll realize that the customer is not that much eager but okay so or can I have your email address can I have your address sir so you start capturing the address city is equals to HYD or ABAD Hyderabad state and provenance is Telangana state right zip code is 50000 country is IN right you see that whether the person is interested in the product which product the list of product has to come here right what is the SIG code what is the number of location or what is the description just type click on save right once you are done 
you know you capture the basic information now what do you do you, once you capture the basic information now you do some activity with the customer you send some emails to the customer you create some events you do you send him a meeting request so that tomorrow at one o'clock he can come down to your institute and then you can together you know discuss about uh, you know how to uh, what are the different you know face to face you can have a discussion about the course details and everything so now you create a new meeting request you know you create a, some events right you will organize you know you will create a task called as you know counseling lot of open activities you will do and you will close it whatever you close that will come here in the activity history after talking to a client or customer this customer for about two days I'm following up this customer I realized that this customer is not a fake he is a original customer what I'll do that there's a high chances that I can sell in the SFDC course right I'll click on convert once I click on convert right system will create an account called as Bollywood private limited you if you feel any given time no 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 Bollywood private limited is already there why it's creating again so you can go ahead and you can right you can go ahead and you can delete this you can say that no search I want to search whether the body private limited is already there or not I scroll down I see clivity clivity oh I don't have body private limited see no way it's there okay so system will create system will not only will create this plus it will also create an opportunity opportunity is nothing but any prospect deal is called opportunity which we'll be seeing now so I'll say that uh, volume technology C L O U D cloud course C O U R S E cloud course okay and what is the status I'll say close converted yes do you want to immediately create a meeting or something no I don't want to create anything else no task nothing I'll just click on convert what will happen is that now system is converting a suspect to a prospect I created a lead from there I converted the lead and you can say automatically you can say that system is creating Bollywood private limited if you go back to contact you'll be able to see that automatically a contact is created called as Ranveer Kapoor see that Ranveer Kapoor Bollywood private limited system has automatically created one for you right called as Ranveer Kapoor right so what is happening in real time we don't create accounts accounts are created automatically by the lead right whenever you're converting a customer a inquiry that you got you want to convert this to an opportunity you said that yes this customer is genuinely interested he would like to join the course so there is a deal now it's a, it's a one deal is going to happen and while you convert a lead to a deal, deal called as opportunity in between we generate accounts and contacts so automatically system will create what accounts and contacts will be created by the system right accounts and contacts will be created by the system so now right accounts and contacts are created you can see that not only that system has also created an opportunity what is that one with private limited cloud course system has already created an opportunity you can see that execution of the campaign is not here Salesforce is just doing the documentation of the campaign so the practical execution will happen on the field but all the related information of those campaigns you will capture here so tomorrow if you open a campaign called demo tent you have to physically open a demo in front of my office that's for sure and whatever the details how much cost you have involved in that what is the where when do you are opening it what you are doing on it all these details you will attach here you'll maintain the details so that tomorrow if somebody asks you what are the things have you performed to get the business you can immediately say that we did a campaign we did a you know a demo tent in front of uh, high tech city officers so all the details are maintained here executions are done fact so that will come only when you add members you can see that add members by searching okay I want to add members to this campaign let's say that it's it's some banner campaign what is the condition I want to say wherever city belongs to city contains Hyderabad HYD I will say find go and find all the customers that I have in my in my in my system not leads find all them all the contacts so I'll say wherever the contact mailing city equals to or contains Hyderabad 
HYD. So I'm saying contains, where is that contains? Contains. I'm saying HYD and I click on go, right? And I see that these are the people, I'll say, okay, add them to the campaign. So now I click on add with the status, what status you want? Sent or responded? I'll say no, sent. Sent is nothing but either it's called or it will treat as email sent or something like that. Now if you go back to my, that is what been added, I'm going back to my campaign. So how many people are there now? I can see that in the campaign members, there are three people are there. So with these people, I'll contact them, I'll convince them. If I see that they're responding it, then I'll see that they are responded. You can see that, uh, you know, we have this campaign coming up. So type is contact. It can be banner, it can be even phone call. Banner is just a practical execution. So whatever the banner example I gave, that is for that is for the first question what he asked just now. So there you're not doing any execution, they are just record set. But suppose you're you know you're calling someone, for example, you're sending an email to someone. So there you can have a list of people. Either you get it from your system or you get it from an external file. So that there is an import file is also there. So what is happening is that I have a plot. My great grandfather has left a plot in Shamshabad. Now I did some plotting. After that, I want to sell. I'll put an ad in the paper. Fine. I'll create a campaign called as banner. So there I'll not have any members because it's a banner ad. Okay, it's I'll not put any members. But tomorrow, if I create a one more campaign called as phone call, FY16 Q3, right? Uh, Shamshabad plot phone call. Question is who I'm calling? Then I need to have a number. Which which customer I am calling? I have an existing customer? No. Then I'll take from external list. Where I'll go back to Airtel, Vodafone. I'll tell them that boss, I require you know a list of thousand numbers or ten thousand numbers who are in DND who are not in DND list and uh, who has put their you know salary or work as IT. Airtel will say okay, we will charge you ten thousand rupees per number one rupee. You say fine, not a problem. You pay ten thousand, Airtel will give you the list and you upload them here. So under this campaign called calling, you are calling this all thousand people. You are not loading them in accounts or contacts. Out of thousand, first call you call. Out of thousand call, at least will be five people will say, okay, right? Where is the plot? Uh, okay, can you send me the details? Immediately I'll con. So all these are mentioned here. That's what I'm mentioning the list, and then I'll immediately I'll create a lead. See, already one lead. Uh, uh, so immediately I'll create a lead. Okay, out of this thousand call, I got one customer who is talking. This is the overall process. So the example that I took banner doesn't require any person to add. Actually, I should not add anyone here at the bottom because that doesn't suit. But the same campaign would have been a call campaign, then yes, I could have added a member. These are the people whom I'm calling. What I'm doing? Campaign. From a campaign is the practical execution, we just maintain the records here. All the calls, inquiries, walk-ins, you get it. We create what? Lead. Once we try to follow up, we do some follow-ups, we talk to them, we understand that it's a genuine customer. We convert them. We convert a lead to an opportunity. While the conversion is happening, intermediary, we will get accounts and contacts and system will immediately will create a lead now. Sorry, will create an opportunity now, right? This is called opportunity. I told you, marketing has two components in Salesforce called as campaign and lead. So once your lead is generated, you see that the customer is interested. Now it's a sales process. So it comes under sales. Right on the next heading called as sales. Customer is genuine, so it will be converted to contacts, right? it will be converted to opportunity and contacts if it doesn't exist. If it exists, system will not create a duplicate, right? For example, I create a one more lead. Let's take an example. There's already a Bollywood private limited is existing now, right? So I go and call lead. I see that one more person is calling me. Hi, who is this? My name is, you know, uh, let's say that, uh, my name is Katrina Kaff. Hi, this is Katrina. K-T-H-I-R-I-N-A. Okay, whatever the spelling is, K-A-I-F. Uh, may you, ma'am, where you're working? Hey, I'm working from Bollywood. B-O-L-L-Y-W-O-D. Bollywood. Okay, Bollywood Private Limited. Okay, I fill all the details. Can, can I have your phone number, Katrina? She gives her phone number. I say Katrina at the rate Katrina.com. 
right, katrina.com, right. Now I see that I click on save immediately. She gives all, I'm not filling all the information. So now I see that, okay, uh, this Katrina is also interested. I can directly click on convert. Don't think that system will create Bollywood. So that account name is blank. System is suggesting that create a new Bollywood or add to an existing Bollywood private limited. I say add to an existing Bollywood private limited. It said Bollywood, I say K A T Cat uh, Cloud, C L O U D. It's creating an opportunity. And I click on convert. Now it is creating a new contact called as Katrina Kef. I go to contact. But company is same, Bollywood Private Limited. It's not creating twice there, it's creating only one. So see Bollywood. When I open Bollywood Private Limited, I'll be able to see there are two people inside it. Who are those two people? Ranveer Kapoor and Katrina Kaif. You can see that. It's showing up here. If you're going to the lead and you're creating a lead, mm -hmm. you're basically converting the lead into a campaign. Opportunity. Right? I'm co converting to an opportunity. I get okay. a lead from a campaign. Remember that. I'm not converting into campaign. I get a lead from a campaign. Later, I can also do it. I can get a lead from a campaign or I can take lead inside a campaign. It can be two direction. Tomorrow I'm doing a course, a new course. Let's take example of that. You know, I'm launching a new course called as uh, SAP HANA. I feel that those who have learned .NET from me are can be targeted. I can call them again and I can pitch them for a SAP HANA course, right? So in the campaign, I'll create a call campaign and I can add my list of you know members from contact. I do understand that there are a few leads are also there who you know who can be also be targeted. We can also target them. So you can bring a lead inside a campaign also. Ideally, or a real time or general scenario is that from a campaign you get a lead, from a lead you create an opportunity. While you create opportunity, you generate account or contact if they doesn't exist. If they exist, you don't create anything. You just create an opportunity linking to the existing accounts and contacts. So I think yesterday you said to basically create uh, an account and you want to create a contact. Yes. So, uh, so you're saying that uh, this will again go from campaigns and then contact and comes to That's correct. the uh, what you call this accounts. Is that how it is? So we are having a yes. campaign. A contact and with the contact there is a lead with these all three we are creating an account under that am I right uh, the ideal scenario is that whatever I told you yesterday to create uh -huh. accounts and contacts are wrong is wrong in real time your data entry point to your Salesforce is lead not accounts and contacts so the entry point the first entry point of data entry to your Salesforce is lead through a lead you enter customer details, you follow up with them, you understand that they are good and interested, you convert them to an opportunity, and while the conversion happens, you create an accounts and contacts. Tomorrow, if a new person walks in, you will create again a new lead. You will convert it, and you will attach to the same company, but different contacts. So ideally, in real time, you don't create accounts or you don't create contacts. Or end user doesn't create accounts and contacts. Oh. Clear now? Yeah, got it. That's the ideal case scenario. I'll show you my real time later, right? Remember these points. When tomorrow, when I log in in my real time environment, in a production environment, right, you'll be able to see that there is no new button in account. When I come to account. Here it's there. But in real time, this button will be disabled completely. It will not be available. No. Okay. Clear now? Right. So now, write down the sales. What is a sale or sales? Process of selling a product or a service is called sales. Sales has five components. Number one, opportunity. Number two, product. Number three, Quotation, number four, price book, number five, order. These are the five components of sales. When these five components are there, then only you can start selling in Salesforce. 
I created an opportunity. Fine, agreed. What is the opportunity? Bollywood Katharina Cloud course. Now she's interested in a course, right? Definitely she'll ask me, okay, uh, Rupam, can you please send me the quotation? What is the price? From where I'll get a price? First of all, where is the product? I need to create a product now. Before I come here to this opportunity, I start working. What I have to do? First, I have to create a product. So what is a product? Any commodity that is available for sale is called product. Any commodity or service or single word, anything which is available for sale is called product. Now I click on this plus sign. I look for product, MNOP. You can see that product, right? Now, before I create a product, okay, I need to have something called as price book. Write down next, price book. Pricing strategy to sell a product at a multiple price to multiple customers is called price list or price book. Is called price list or price book. Okay, now let's talk about it. In my hand, I just had a phone today which I just recently purchased called as Lenovo K3 Note. I purchased this for 99999 rupees. 9000. Okay, I purchased it for 10,000 rupees. So what is the price of this product? 10,000. Now I brought this product from where? From a reseller or from some store. Do you feel that the store is also buying the product at the same price? Answer is no. He is buying the price, the same product he is buying for 8,900 rupees. He is selling it to me on the MRP of 9,999 which is 10,000 rupees. So you see that one product, same Lenovo K3 Note is now have two two prices. For a general customer, it's 10,000. For the retailers, it's 9,000. For wholesaler, it's 7,000. Because wholesaler will buy in a bulk. Wholesaler will order 20,000 pieces at a time. So that's the reason I'm giving the product at what price? 7,000. Retailer will buy take 100 or maximum 100. So that's the reason I'm giving them at a price of 8,000. Customer will buy one or two max. That's the reason I'm selling it at 9,000. One product, multiple pricing is called as price book or also called as price list. One product, multiple pricing is called as price book or price list. Clear? Example, wholesale, retail, standard. Another example, gold, silver, platinum, titanium. That's another example called of price book. So first, I click on the plus sign, I scroll down, and I create a price book. I click on price book. Already you can see that gold, platinum, silver is there because I was looking for the last patch. So I click on new and I type the name as retail, R-E-T-A-I-L, retail. What is the price book? Description for retail customers, for retail customers. I click on save. Do you want to copy it from existing one? No, I don't want to copy from an existing price book. All the products of that will be, click on active, do not forget to click active. Click on save. A price book is created called as the retail, right? I go back to the price book again, and now I'll, you can see that there's retail here. I click one more called wholesale. I create wholesale for for wholesale customers. Active, done, save. Now I have two price book, right? So whatever the product I sell, I sell either in retail or I sell in what? Wholesale, that's it. So I, whatever the product, my business sells only, I have two price book, two pricing strategy. Either a wholesale or a retail. Next, I'll click on plus sign and then I'll create a product. Now I click on product, right? It'll ask you, you can see new here, new product. 
I click on new product. What is the product name? I'll say M, I'll say that SFDC, right? Cloud computing, C L O U D, cloud SFDC, right? 15 as a course. What is the product code? CC SFDC 15. That's a product code. Is it an active product? Yes. Which is family it belongs to? For the moment, I don't have any family, so let's leave it. Click on save or save or save an ad price. So I click on save an ad price. It will ask you what is the standard price for this course? I'll say 20,000 is the standard price. Anybody who wants to join my class would be paying 20,000. That's the charge that I'm charging. I click on save, standard price. But whenever somebody comes and tells me that I have one, me and my friend both are joining, right? How much you can give me a discount? So now I'm adding to a price book. Add to a price book, it will ask you which price book. I'll say wholesale and retail. I select two price book, which I just created a couple of minutes back. I click on select system. Now, standard price is 20,000. If somebody is buying in retail, I'll give for 18,000. If somebody is buying in wholesale, I will not come down below 16,000 at any cost. That's it. If there are more than five people joining, if somebody promises, then only I'll make it 16,000. That's it. If somebody says that, okay, we are two people joining, then it's a retail purchase for me, right? So retail, wholesale, or I can say gold, silver. If it's a gold customer, I'll give this much. If it's a silver customer, I'll say this much. So I click on, now you see that one product called cloud computing course, I have three prices, 20, 18, 16, that's it. So I click on save. Now a product has been created. You can see that. Now I go back to the opportunity. If you remember that we just created an opportunity called as Katrina Calf Cloud Course. She's interested. I open the opportunity. I scroll down and I click on Add Product. The time I click Add Product, system will first ask me what is the price book you want to follow. So either you can first choose the price book, then add a product, or you can directly add a product. System will ask you what is the price list. See, gold, silver, wholesale, retail. I'll say Katrina Calf is a standard customer. Then 20,000 rupees, automatically price. Katrina Calf is a retail customer. So I click on retail, I click on save. System will show only one product now because under this price book called as retail, there is only one product available. That means if you have 10 courses running, all the 10 courses, you have to add them in the price book. Maybe .NET course, I don't teach under retail, only standard. Because fees is how 3,000. On that, if I give a discount, then what I'll get? So that's the reason for retail also, no, 3,000, no discount. For standard also, no discount. So hence, now I'm adding what? I'm adding the product. SFDC, that's the course I'm adding. I click on select the product. System will ask you how many quantity. I'll say that two people want to join. So I click on save and close. Quantity is two. Save and close. Automatically, you can see that on the top, your system is showing the amount as 36,000. And you can see that SFDC is the product, quantity is two, unit price is this, right? And the price is here. Able to understand? Right? The price is here. Right? So now I have added a product to an opportunity. Right? Clear now what I'm saying? Any doubt till here? So today's class, we have created a campaign. We created a lead, from a lead we converted to an opportunity, then, then we created price book. We, if you want to write down the sequence, you can write down the sequence. Then I created the price book. After price book, I created product, and then I came back to my opportunity and added the product to my opportunity. I just added the product. This is what we did today, till yesterday and today's summary is this.